Good morning guys. Today is a beautiful day outside and also this little boy is kicking me so much right now. He's kicking me so low and he's also kicking me in the bladder. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I like have to pee. But today's vlog is going to be a real good one. There's a lot of fun things actually that we have planned for today, including getting our wedding rings. They are fixing them at this little local shop and they're doing like something very beautiful so i'm really excited to show you guys that and to finally have my wedding rings back it's been so long and we're also going to see a house marcus has a softball game tonight there's a lot of stuff going on so let's just get this day started and marcus is actually upstairs right now because he is setting up the baby crib because it came in the mail and we've had it just sitting in a box for a really long time and I just wanted to see what it looks like because I'm really excited and we haven't really set up any baby stuff because we don't have a house yet so I kind of just wanted to do it to kind of just like feel more prepared in case the baby does come I don't know it's like a mental thing I know the crib doesn't need to be set up now but I was just too excited so he's upstairs doing that right now and I was actually about to do my hair I just washed it last night but now I'm thinking I don't really even want to curl I feel like it looks nice how it dried naturally here is the upstairs and let's see how Marcus is doing on the crib I gotta be careful not to fall up these stairs Okay, so here is the first room up here. We already started putting a few boxes. It's just a big white room. And then over here is where I am keeping all of my baby stuff and boxes that we need to just keep in here until we have a house. So basically everything in here is for the baby. We have a little changing pad right here. We have a little bassinet and this has all of his clothes and like swaddles and pacifiers and stuff like that in here folded up. How cute is this bassinet also? Very adorable. We also have some stuff for the new house. More baby things in here. And um, here's the view from outside this little closet. Oh wow, the green trees and grass is giving me a very green glow right now. But all of the stuff that you see in this room was downstairs just like stacked on top of each other. And it was honestly stressing me out a lot because it just was so cluttered. So it's very, very happy that we now have a little bit of extra space to just like put all of this stuff in. And I feel like my mind is a little bit more clear now that all of this stuff is up here and we can just continue to put boxes and stuff upstairs. And then we have this room in here, which is basically just going to be all of the extra stuff from the Airbnb that we're not using. So there's a ton of like decorations and stuff that we're taking up a lot of space. So that is what we're using this room for. And something very interesting that we were like, what is this? was the floor is like half painted white in here. And we asked the owners like what kind of situation is going on and they said the previous owners had painted the floor brown and they didn't like how it looked so they're just gonna paint the whole floor white. Um, so I guess <laughs> that's the middle of that kind of process right now. And then we have this huge box that has a dresser that's gonna go in the nursery in the new house. And just like, yeah, a bunch of extra decorations and then a closet in here. Maybe this is good lighting to give you guys my outfit of the day. This dress is so cute. It's from Madewell. Here's the bump today, the bump date. And this dress is just so comfy. I actually got a new skirt as well and I tried to put it on today. There was absolutely no way that thing was fitting over my belly. So we went with a dress and it's very cute and it's very comfy. And I feel like the print of it is just very adorable. So there's the outfit of the day. Can you tell I'm procrastinating because Marcus is on the phone? And so I just am not showing you him yet because I'm waiting for him to get off the phone. Here's Marcus's workstation. He's almost done putting together the crib. He says it's been really confusing, so. But we actually got this crib from um, 
It's called the Wave Crib from Nestig, and well, it's very cute. The thing is, there's like, it's nice because there's like a small version of the crib, a big version of the crib, but like the directions don't say what is what. You just have to figure that bit out, so. Yeah, so it comes with like a tiny baby crib and then a, t uh, a normal baby crib and then it goes to like a toddler bed. So there's three different things. There's actually one more room. I know. There's actually one more room I didn't show you. And it's this room that actually has another bed in it so that might be nice for maybe when we have another guest or something. But that is the full upstairs tour. Camper and Honey have loved coming upstairs. It's been really fun. And this little room now holds our baby crib. So just in case something happens, we don't find a house and we end up having to take the baby home to this little Airbnb, we have a crib. And I don't know, something in my heart just makes me feel really happy about that, but it is so cute. Like I said, this is the Nestig Wave Crib and we have the Newton Baby mattress in here. We still have to put like the wheels and legs on this little crib, but I think it's so cute. I love the color of it. I love the shape of it. And I can't believe there's gonna be a baby in here one day, one day very soon. We just made it to consider the wildflowers. They are the ones that are fixing our wedding rings. And Marcus, is paying for parking right now. I'm so excited to see what they created from my wedding bands because if you guys don't know, the metal and the diamonds were like broken and falling out. I'll insert a picture here, but now we get to go pick them up and I'll tell you guys all about what we did and I'm very excited. See your wedding ringless hand for the last time. The last time we'll be naked. We're about to be married again. So you'll probably want to open up this guy first. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Yes. Oh my gosh. I cannot even believe. Wow. That's the main okay. event. Well, the main event is 10 out of 10. Yay. Wow. We love it. So that was a mix of the, it's now the Maggie. You created a new style. Wow. So it's a mix of our laurel ring as well as our parlor palm. Yes. Oh, wow. Wow, there's so yours, me, huh? babe. Marcus also got a custom ring. Oh, it's a good ring. fit. Like it's not too tight, but it's the perfect amount. Amazing. Yeah, like I feel like I could get this off if I wanted to, but yeah, it's not like panic. suffocating, yeah. And yeah, it's comfy. Actually, oh, it's great. So that white gold one is actually your like old engagement ring setting melted down and turned into that hammered band. Wait, this one turned out so right? good. And those were your side stones from your old ring. Yeah. So it's basically all of my old ring just in a new way. Okay, wow, I'm like a true wife now. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my gosh, wow. it looks so good. We're in a little bit of a rush when we were leaving the ring shop and we had to run and go see a house that was kind of like on the other side of town and it was totally not the house for us we like walked in and knew immediately it was a no so i didn't even film anything because basically we were in there for a total of 30 seconds but now we uh just grabbed a quick bite to eat and we're at marx's softball game and i think it's really cute that he's playing softball and he is loving his life he's actually the pitcher so we're here i just parked and dropped him off i'm about to walk down and watch him play for the first time but i wanted to go over kind of like more details about our wedding rings so i think i'm gonna do that actually when we get home so it's like better lighting and i can just like sit down and talk to you guys because the story behind each one is actually really special and uh i just wanted to tell you guys more about them so i'm gonna walk over and watch some softball <gasps> good one 
And then I caught one pot fly as well. So, I got three yeah. on my own. so you won. I almost. Good job. Yeah, yeah, we won. Yeah. <laughs> It is the next day, guys. Marcus won both of his softball games, which was really fun. I feel like I'm already getting prepped to be a mom, watching my kids play, you know, sports games with Marcus playing softball. I think it's really funny. But yeah, we got home and it was just late and dark and I just went to sleep. But today, I just got dressed. Funny, funny story actually. I got a package from Lulu's in the mail and they sent over a bunch of cute stuff. And one of the things was this shirt, which is really comfy, can't really see, and these overalls, which I was like, oh, these will definitely fit. And uh, they kind of fit, but I had to keep the top buttons unbuttoned as you can see. So I'm going for like, you know, that undone farmer look, I guess, today, but they're actually really comfy. The thing I really wanted to talk to you guys about is our wedding rings because, oh my gosh, it's been so long and now I feel like I'm newly married, you know? If you've been engaged or married before, you know when you first get your wedding ring, you like cannot stop looking at it. That's how I feel right now, I'm just like, but I was saying there's a really special story about all of these bands and it, I know it looks different than my original wedding ring and that is because my first wedding ring and band were completely broken basically in the accident and the metal was like really um, not strong anymore. So we decided to kind of like create a story out of my old metal and my old diamonds and create something new. So I worked together with Consider the Wildflowers and all of these diamonds were from my old band and settings and they just created it into a new band and settings and melted down the metal from my first ring which I'll show you a little video clip that they actually sent me. It's like a really cool process that they did but I kind of just want to show you guys what the ring looks like up close. This is the first band. I'll insert a picture close up so you guys can see better, but it's more of like a vintage inspired band. And these were all of the diamonds that were around my actual engagement ring. And then the next one is my actual wedding ring, which is still the same diamond, which is a miracle that this diamond even survived the accident. If you guys have seen the pictures, it was just like completely bent in half. I'm so glad that we didn't lose my entire diamond. That would have been so sad. But we made this into just a really simple solitaire. And again, it's a gold band before it was silver. And so I wanted to match Marcus's new wedding ring and do gold and I just love gold jewelry. So um, here is what this one looks like. Okay, and then this one is really special. We wanted to kind of commemorate something having to do with the accident and just like the beauty that comes from brokenness. And that is how we came up with this one. This is a really simple hammered silver band and this is the metal from my actual engagement ring. And then this last one is actually all of the diamonds from my wedding band and they just made it into a little bit more of a dainty gold setting which I love so much. Honestly my first uh the first rendition of this ring was like very uncomfortable on my finger so I just told them I'd love to do like the same exact look just in gold and maybe a little bit more comfy and they did that exact same thing. So I wear that one first. I've been kind of like switching up how I've been kind of like styling the stack but then I do the hammered ring and then my engagement band and then the more like vintage inspired one on top and I just love it so much it's so special okay here's Marcus's ring up close and you can see on the inside we engraved a bible verse on it it's proverbs 3 3 and I think it's really mm -hmm. special and I like that it's shiny on the inside I didn't even notice yeah that. it's neat I like how it looks like flat and sharp, but on the inside it has what's called their, what is it? Comfort fit. Comfort fit. fit. So like it actually rounded. has a small, like, kind of beveled edge, which makes it comfortable, but it still appears as, like, a kind of a sharp ring, which I like that look. So, yeah. anyways, we like it. We love them. They look very nice together. <laughs> now I want to show you guys some of the cute things I just got in the mail. First of all, I haven't opened this package yet, but I know what it is. 
This is my friend Amber Fillerup's collab with the brand Skatey. First of all, can I just say how much I love her? She is the sweetest. I've never met her in person, but we message back and forth sometimes. And she is the best, but these are such cute biker shorts. I actually love the brand Skatey. They have the comfiest biker shorts. So I'm very excited about these. And she also did a matching sports bra. There's like a ton of different styles, but these are the ones I picked out. So stinking cute. And I'm also very excited. She came out with swimwear as well. And this pattern is adorable. Okay, let me show you. It's like the cutest little happy 70s pattern. I can't even see, but <laughs> here's what it looks like. So cute. And then here is the top that I got. Also, my throat is really itchy right now. So I feel like I'm going to cough. Amber filler up. X skatey. And here's the little simple top that I picked out. And they have tons of different styles. So I'll leave a link to these below. Thanks to Amber for sending these over. They are so cute. And I also got a few things from Lulu's, like I was saying. Um, let me show you. I feel like if I wasn't pregnant, I would try these on for you. But it's just like, I can't. I can't, guys. I can't try all these on right now. But uh, you'll probably see me wearing them on my Instagram. So first is this little dress. It reminds me of a Funfetti cupcake. I feel like it'd be cute with the bump maybe for my baby shower or something because it's more like scrunched around the waist. I also got this shirt which is like a button down chartreuse. Is this chartreuse? This little cute oversized top. I got it in a medium. Very adorable. So got this little blue dress. I'm a sucker for these types of dresses as you guys probably know. And then I got this top which is cute and also scrunchy and stretchy. Prime for pregnancy. And it goes with this little skirt. I feel like that will be really cute with the bump because it'll really, really highlight it. Oh, I also got this purse from Lulu's as well. I feel like this is adorable. I love the woven, the woven pattern. So cute. Okay, I've agreed to go on Marcus's boat with him today which will be an interesting adventure. He actually brought, bought this little like metal boat and he's been taking it out on the river. He has like a mud motor. I don't even know what half of that means, but I'm going out with him today because he's been going out with his friends and he's like, I really want you to come. And I guess I'm dressed perfectly to go out with the mud motor. So um, I'm gonna vacuum really quick before we go because I haven't vacuumed in a few days. and. I can really tell there's lots of tumbleweeds everywhere. From you, yeah, from you, yeah. It's okay, it's okay that you shed because you're perfect. All right, so we made it down that bank. Kind of a slippery bank, but it was pretty dry today. We made sure to be really careful. I held her all the way down. Kristen said, can you film as she was stepping in the boat? And as she was stepping in the boat, literally like, six inches from being in the boat stepping over it her foot slipped and she slid down and both her knees slammed this piece right here see this it was sticking out just like that she slid from here and went boom on her shin so now her shin right where there's a hernia got hit and now it's like extra herniated and swollen now we're gonna go it's gonna be exciting we gotta change our energy now from Kind of sad, Jeff. Yeah! I literally started sobbing. Alright, let's see how all the boat runs. We're gonna go over the street. Whoa. It's very pretty. So this is how deep we've been going this whole time. I mean, not even tall enough to cover the half of my foot. That's crazy. Pretty amazing. Yeah. Whoa. Our boat ran away from 
away from us. <laughs> Did you get scared for a second? I was like, wait, what the heck? And then I saw it drifting around the corner and I was like, oh my gosh. I saw you just sprint away. <laughs> we just got home and I'm eating some crackers right now. I'm so hungry, um, but wow guys, that was very fun, but my leg is killing me right now, and I have an audience watching me eat right now. I love you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. <laughs> One of my straps is just completely down because I had to go to the bathroom, so I'm looking like a real disheveled pregnant woman right now. But I love you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.